promised to review security, but almost six euro is still missing from robbery. In relation to to my in relation to euro, AIP chief exec euro. Fine Gael have not been. The people who look after security at our banks have promised to review their procedures after Garthi meeting with Euro today. 5.8 million banks have still missing from Friday's robbery at Bank of Ireland. Despite recent events, business at Bank of Ireland's landmark Green Green Building appeared to be back to normal this afternoon. In the space of just 15 minutes, the chairman of the from our security section, the heads of security for all major financial institutions in the country. Well, three of the seven people being questioned by Garthi about the robbery are challenging their detention. The chief executive Eugene Sheesh says he regrets some of the decisions he made in recent. He spoke to Tenura News after announcing a big drop in profits. Eugene Sheehy is the head of the country's biggest bank and one of the few CEOs to keep his job during the current crisis. Today he said he was stepping down despite delivering what he himself described pointing. The FBI group made a pre-tax profit of one euro. That's a 62% drop from the previous year. The bank has had to set aside 8.1 billion euro to cover bad debts and earnings per share are down 86%. I want to lead up through this process to make sure we come through this cycle uh, well and come out the other side of it. Do you have a time frame in your head of when you would like to leave the bank? A group of doctors, including Fine Gael's health spokesperson, has decided to make cervical cancer vaccinations. Hoteliers are warning that six jobs are at risk unless banks increase the flow of credit to business. They're anticipating their toughest year for decades. Stay in Ireland and have their vacation here, here in Ireland um, because certainly the hotel industry needs people to stay within Ireland and holiday this year. Okay. Tourism is worth almost seven euro to the Irish economy each year. Hoteliers know this is going to be one of their financial ex toughest years in business and Fineworths are advising consumers to capitalise on the situation. Now all those uh, stories and the rest of the day's news will be discussed on Nightly News with Vincent Brown. That's at 11 past 5. Now coming up next on TV3 News. Plans for Metro North, a public hearing begins. No action for the iPod keeper.